Hi, my name is Hans Klevers. I'm a scientist in the Netherlands. What you see here is the, uh, the gut of a, of a mammal. Uh, could be a mouse, could be a human being. Uh, you already start appreciating that the inner surface has these protrusions that extend the surface of the gut dramatically. This helps us to very efficiently digest food and take up nutrients. The cells on those villi are exposed to a very threatening biological environment, as you might realize, and that is probably the reason why they only live for a few days, and they're constantly being replenished by cells that come out of these structures that are called crypts. You see them here. Um, and in the story that I'm going to tell, I try to, to show you that these multicolored cells at the base of the crypts are the stem cells that drive this incredibly active self-renewal process. The crypts of Lieberkuhn were named after this guy, a German young scientist who defended his thesis several centuries ago in Leiden, in, in the Netherlands. His thesis was only 32 pages, but it was actually um, in Latin. And with Google Translate, he managed to figure out what he had done. He actually had uh, infused hot wax into uh, human organs, mouse organs, uh, cooled the organs down, uh, then digested away the tissue and through a magnifying glass and, and using etching techniques, he would then produce an image of what he was seeing. And you can see the vascular skeletons of the microvilli in, uh, in this piece of tissue looking from the inside. And when he flipped it around, there were blood vessels clearly on the outside of the gut, but you might also appreciate that here and here there are these tiny white circles. He realized they were protruding small spaces outward from the lumen of the gut, and he called them crypts. And we now know that these are the uh, homes of the stem cells of the intestinal tract. This is a much more modern view of the same structure. So here you see a villus. You see many other villi in the background. This is a crypt of Lieberkuhn. There are about uh, eight to 10 or so that surround the base of the, of the villus. Um, cells are constantly being produced by then enigmatic stem cells that reside somewhere near the base of the crypt. Their daughters very rapidly proliferate. They take two days to reach the exit of the crypt. They then differentiate out into one of a number of cell types that you see here. They move up the, uh, the villus, and about four or five days after they are born, they reach the tips of the villi that you see here, and they undergo apoptosis. They commit suicide. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention.